Back in the chilling autumn night of 2018, I decided to explore a deserted trail deep within the mountains of Maine. This was an obscure path that stretched all the way to a forgotten village lost in time. I relished the solitude of wandering through nature, seeking an escape from the stresses of everyday life, and this seemingly abandoned trail suited my preferences perfectly. The trail, initially easy to find, led me through a landscape where the trees grew increasingly dry, with many appearing lifeless. Some had fallen across the path, while others had multiple thick branches scattered about. Clearly, this trail hadn't seen any care in years. As I ventured further, the path took me through layers of thick overgrown bushes. Although the trail remained distinct, a sense of unease began to creep in. Suddenly, a distinct sound reached my ears, a melodic whistle echoing down from the mountains. It was faint, but I could discern a few notes before it ceased. I must admit, it sent shivers down my spine, making me quite uncomfortable. Nevertheless, I brushed it off, attributing it to the presence of another hiker on the trail. Another 20 minutes passed, and once again, the same melodious whistle graced the air, this time much closer and louder. This occurrence heightened my unease, but I wasn't about to abandon the trail just because of some person whistling nearby. I continued about a quarter mile further, keeping my pocket knife in hand just in case. A fallen tree obstructed the path, its thorny branches making it challenging to climb over, forcing me to navigate around it. Turning to the right, I took a few steps and noticed a small valley, likely where a river once flowed. However, at the center of it stood a small den made of large sticks. Judging by its complexity, I deduced it was man-made. Connecting the dots between the whistling and the den, I began to suspect that someone might actually be living there. A sense of foreboding washed over me, and I decided I needed to leave immediately. But just as I turned to exit the valley, that same whistle echoed from right behind me. My heart practically stopped in fear as I swiftly turned to face the den. To my surprise, a goat stood just behind the valley, exactly where I had heard the whistle emanate. Its eyes felt like they were piercing into me, motionless and eerie. I couldn't help but notice its unusual size compared to others I had seen in the area. At this point, I was in a state of panic, struggling to comprehend the surreal situation. After a few seconds, I managed to regain control and began walking back slowly, still facing the goat. But with one step backward, it slightly opened its mouth in an unnatural way and emitted the same whistle I had heard too many times already. Fear took hold and I sprinted down the mountain, stumbling multiple times over fallen trees and rocks. As I reached the exit of the trail, I heard the whistle one more time, softly echoing down the mountain. I never shared this encounter with anyone, fearing that nobody would believe me and I'd only sound like a coward. However, it was only recently, as I delved deeper into the concept of skinwalkers, that I realized it might be the only plausible explanation for what I witnessed.